Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a spring inspired tutorial. The weather's been kind of nice outside and by nice I mean above minus 15 degrees since I live in Canada. I know I always say that and I complain about the weather but that's literally my life. But yeah, the warmer, nicer weather kind of inspired me to start creating spring looks. So this one is pretty neutral with a little bit of a pop of color underneath the eyes. I'm not sure if you can tell but there's blue under there you'll see in the tutorial and I paired it with a nice bright glossy pink lip so yeah if you want to see how to get this look then just keep watching okay so I have already primed my eyes using Too Faced shadow insurance and then I have set that down with the lightest shade in the palette called charmer so that's already been done and I'm going to go in with the second lightest shade called Flower Child and I'm going to use that as a transition shade. I'm going to use that on a NYX 16 brush which is just a fluffy synthetic blending brush. And I'm just going to add a transition shade, just blend that upwards towards the brow. Sorry for the change in lighting. I realized that I had a lamp on beside me and it was kind of making everything look a little more yellow. So this is more of the true lighting. Next, I'm going to go into this light brown shade called Smarty Pants and on the same NYX brush. And I'm just going to also blend it into my crease, but I'm going to keep it a bit lower than I did with the lighter shade. And I'm not building it up like super dark. I'm just running it back and forth a couple times. Then when nothing's left on the brush, then I'm just going to blend it into the lighter Flower Child shade. Then I'm going, oops, then I'm going in with this darker cool toned brown shade and this is called Jet Setter. And I'm going to use that on a Too Faced Blender brush from their uh, Teddy Bear brush collection. These are so soft, I love these. But I don't use this one for blending as much. I usually use it more for like packing on shadows into the crease, if that makes sense, because it makes it really pack on consistently, like it's not patchy. But I just find that it's not fluffy enough for blending, so that's kind of why I just use it to apply shadow, not so much blend it. And I'm just going to run that in the very lower crease. You won't see a crazy difference because it's like not that much darker than the other shade we just used. See, look how easily that applies the shadow. I really, really like this brush collection. Sorry, you can see me like dabbing my brush in the corner. Then I'm gonna go in with this Too Faced liner brush and I freaking love this, but again, not for liner. I don't know, it's so weird that I love all these Too Faced brushes, but not for their purpose. That being said, I've never actually tried this brush for liner, but um, it's really, really, really good for packing dark shadow or whatever shadow into the inner or outer corners. It's just so small and pointed, but it's still really soft, so it's not gonna like jab your freaking eye out. And I'm just going to put that in the outer corner. See how precise that is? Like, what? And then I'm just going to bring it upwards. Oh my gosh, I love this brush. If you can get your hands on this brush collection, I would so recommend it. They sent it to me, but I freaking love it. I use it all the time. So then after that's built up, I'm just going in with their blender brush and just kind of running over this. I guess I do like it for blending, but not like blending up into as a transition shade. You know what I'm saying? Cause like that kind of like diffuses a wash of color, whereas this is a little more precise. So I guess I do like the Too Faced blending brush just for more precise blending, if that makes sense. Then I'm going to go in with this really pretty shimmery champagne color called Funny Girl. So I'm first going to pick it up on the brush and then spray it with a little bit of Smashbox primer water because I find applied dry, it's a little bit gl glittery. So I'm giving it a little spritz spritz or a little squirt squirt according to my boyfriend. If you've watched my boyfriend does my voiceover tag, you'll know what I'm talking about. And I'm just going to apply it to my eyelid. See that intense color payoff when it's wet? Oh, it's so nice. So much easier. And 
And I'm going to kind of carve out just above my crease because my eyes are slightly hooded so shimmer will transfer when my eyes are open. Then I'm just going to go back in with my liner brush. I haven't put any additional darker eyeshadow onto it and I'm just going to kind of blend it into the sparkly one we just used. Then I'm just going to quickly highlight my brow bone again using that matte charmer shade that I set my um, primer with. Just kind of run that over the brow bone just to make sure that everything is smooth. I didn't mean to do such an intense wing, but you know how it goes. You know, you're like, oh, I'll just make it a little longer. Oh, just a little bit. And next thing you know, it's like out to your freaking eyebrows. So I did something a little different with my liner today and I used the Tarte Tartist clay paint liner. I love this liner, but this one's blue. Oh my God. I hate when that happens. It like squirts out everywhere. Did you see that? It's literally like all over my white desk now and that's super annoying, but what can you do? So I'm just going to line my eyes with this and hopefully it goes well because... Why aren't I in focus? Hello? There we go. So I'm just going to line my eyes with this as you typically would. Today is just not a good eyeliner day. What the hell is going on here? Okay, so look at these wings. They are completely different and I seriously don't know what to do about it. So I'm gonna be right back and try to fix this shit. And yeah, I'll be back with you in a second. Okay, so the wing got even more dramatic because the eyes didn't match and today is not my day for wing liner. So bear with me. So I've tried to make them as even as possible. This one I'm probably gonna make a little bit longer to match, but I'm kind of scared to do that at this point. I'm actually not gonna use the Tartlet palette for my lower lash line. You totally can if you want, um, but I'm looking to do something a little more um, bold. So what I'm going to do is take this beautiful shadow from NYX called Blue Jeans. Um, I don't know if you can see the true color. That's, oh, it's so pretty. I'm so excited to finally use this. I haven't used it yet. It's one of their prismatic shadows. They're super affordable. So, you know, if you get a chance to swatch them in store, I would highly recommend it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take it on an E15 flat definer brush by Sigma Beauty. And I'm just going to get it all in there. Now I haven't used this shade yet, so I'm really hoping that it turns out well. Um, I don't know, I guess we'll see. Oh yeah, that's so pretty. OMG, that's so pigmented and easy to apply as well. Then for liner, I'm just going to do my typical black, my Urban Decay Glide on Eye Pencil in Zero. Obviously, I always use the same pencil. Okay, then I'm just going to throw some mascara on. The mascara I'm using today is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I've really been liking this lately. I know it's everyone's favorite, but I'm kind of late to the party on this one. And I'm just gonna give my lashes a quick coat because obviously i'm going to do fake lashes on top since everything else is so dramatic i might as well and for lashes as always i'm going to use my perfect date lashes from l steel they're just my favorite and they're my go-to and i wasn't sure which lashes to use today so i feel like i should just go with what i know okay so now that the eyes are done it is time to move on to the face so i'm going to move on to bronzer and i'm going to use the Too faced chocolate soleil bronzer i've really been liking this lately it's pretty much the only bronzer that i have besides my contour kit by anastasia but i've kind of been enjoying a different way to apply it and it is using a fan brush that's a little thicker so what i do is i just kind of like swirl it you know all in the product and then i kind of dab off the excess on my wrist and i just kind of go around my forehead 
and it allows me to be as light-handed as possible and then I can just build it up so I usually go over it a couple of times and then I can just also add some to the cheeks and then after I finish that I just take a little more of my setting powder and just clean it up even on top a little bit this side gets kind of messy I don't know why but one contour always looks better on this side of the face than it does this side let me know in the comments if that happens to you as well okay so I'm just gonna let that sit there for a little bit and look like a freaking weirdo but whatever and then for blush I'm going to go in with my NARS desire blush because I kind of want something that's a little pink to complement the eyes I feel like that would be really springtime appropriate so I'm just going to ever so slightly dab my brush in it because it's very pigmented again I kind of just dab the excess on my wrist and just apply just a little bit because I don't want like a pink and blue contrast and look like a freaking unicorn or something so just a little bit goes a long way with this blush like a really long way I'm going to go into my Anastasia glow kit probably should have done this from the beginning and use this lightest shade called sunburst you still can't even see it that well the struggle of being so pale, literally every highlight is the same color as your skin, so until the light hits it, you can't even see it. So now I'm just going to wipe away um, my translucent powder. I just got this brush for Christmas, and it's really soft, and I like it. So I'm just going to clean that up and kind of dust it away so it doesn't look like I have a translucent powder beard. I literally have a highlight mustache. I highlighted way too much. So for lips, I'm going to try and keep with the pink theme um, that matches the blush. So I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Melted Longwear Lipstick. This is the Squeezy Tube one, not the Melted Matte ones. This is in the shade Melted Peony. It's a really pretty pink color. And this is the completed look. Please don't mind my hair because I slept on it while it was wet. So now it's just doing what it wants. I really like how this look turned out. Here, I'll zoom you in a little bit. But yeah, I really enjoy how this turned out. Please send me a picture if you decide to recreate it. Also, please leave some requests for types of videos that you might like to see. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye!